Yes, it is. Hi there, ladies and gentlemen. I'd like to welcome you to Well Art Trip. Today we are going down to Hood River, Oregon. That's Hood River, Oregon. It's the state below Washington on the map. Today we'll be traveling with our good and tight buddy, and I mean tight buddy, Phil Heitman from uh, Canada. He uh, decided to grace us with his presence and his photography magic, his genius as it were. It's a beautiful day out as you can see. The boat's ready, the babes are ready, and we're ready to go. The armpits are braided, and we're ready to go. Excuse me, I said red to go. Ah, uh, that was Phil and his barking frog. He keeps in his pants wherever he goes. So, with no further ado, let us get on the road and get going. Bye bye. Uh, what's up? Phil is going ahead straight. of us right now. He's a little bit nervous because we have Officer Friendly. Uh, he's got a, we've got to make a left turn at right the um, Sphincter uh, uh, Park. As you can hear, uh, he's if you a want little to bit down on that, We are presently filming the police officer just to our right. Alrighty then. Bye-bye, Officer Friendly. Oh, right now he's it looks speaking like on his radio. he's speaking on his radio right now. Let's even get the tap Trying on. to get a hold of, would it be his partner to go over? Yeah. Would it be? There he goes, after Phil. Tell Phil to unwrap. Outrun. No, you probably want to put your penis back in your pants. Well, it's two o'clock. Uh, what? <laughs> and now it is. Oh yeah, did you uh, Andrew's body mount? This is the Hood River Best Western Inn, and we are getting ready for an evening of festivities. This is our room number 130. We're on the ground level. Let's take a look inside and look at all the amenities that we have. First we have Sasha, the glowing goddess of the bed. She will provide the e this evening's entertainment. <laughs> and how about that huge Zenith, Z Zenith, <laughs> Zenith TV for none other than pornos. Yeehaw. Oh, we scan yeah, around Mom's the room. Right. We don't watch pornos. Oh, excuse me. That's right. We are. It's 6.30. Phil's backing in the boat. The lighting's perfect. And he's going to take it out for a little Hold spin up. around the river. Doesn't he look sexy in his little outfit? Woohoo! Andy, you're so cute. Hey, bro. You're my hero. Keep coming. Listen to these guys the with all their little technical words to each all other. Right. We're so cool now. We're in the water. To see Andy practice. Okay, Chamber of Commerce Information Center, DMV. And as Windsor, Andy England, would say, Museum Words, Picnic Area, it Fitness is Course, Southport Beach. This is Hood River, and we are here. When he jumps off like that, it means he's got to pee. You got 
some yahoos over here who think they're really hot stuff. Nah, I like it over here better. And I will be sitting down in this chair right now. My Andy. There's my bestest friend, Andy. Andy. Yeah. Say hi to the people on TV. Hey, Doug. They're actually peeing as we speak. No. Just kidding. I got diaper rash the last time. Did you get some good shots, Phil? I want to get one of you coming right at me. Okay. How is the lighting? Perfect. Okay. Extreme. Extreme. Is it point? Extreme See where that car is? Graphics. Yeah. For In people who me? like their graphics. The white one? Go out there and aim for that car. Okay. Just don't hit it. <laughs> All I guarantee you, the rocks are. It's Saturday morning. This is Hood River. And the races are about to begin. There's Phil telling me to get the lawn chair. There is this beautiful extreme graphics banner for people who like their graphics extreme. Let's get the chair for Phil. We now have the chair for Phil. We are about to enter the Jet City Racing tent. And we've got and we've got Blake. <laughs> They look like they're uh, conversing right now in a uh, some serious racing talk. We'll try not to bother them right now. And there he is, the star of my video show for the day, Mr. Andrew McKay, with his bad boy boat and his bad boy outfit and his very cute ass. Ready to do his Richard Simmons impression. Go Phil! Go Phil! Go Phil! <laughs> Go Phil! Here's the competition. It's gonna be tough. Everybody's got their race face on. You even called, Phil! And he's not you even You call racing. those titties? I've, I've seen better lumps in oatmeal there. Ah, and there he goes. <laughs> <laughs> the big number 560. That is the boat, ladies and gentlemen. Now I'll be taking a look at the rest of the competition. As you can tell, I have no comment at this point. Top secret, we've got top secret top se things going on in this <laughs> boat right here. As I said before, number 560, the boat to beat today. Here's Todd, eat a bagel. Train wreck? Carboing up before this yeah. big race. Anything to say today, Todd? No, not really. No? I'll say it after the race, how's that? That'll oh, yeah. just be That's fine. Good. Now, Phil is a special guy, and we all love him. Thank you. But there are a few, shall we say, um, if it's not too harsh, anal things about Phil. One is how we enter so his truck. Be, I have known to be eccentric on occasion. But so, uh, what if... I, I do have a few ladies that are coming into my automobile, and I, I, I really like to take care of them. See? So I lay out the mat for them like this. <laughs> I must clean it off first. <laughs> There we go, ladies. I mean, you're traveling with I must take very good care of the girls because they will take care of me. <laughs> there he is. There's my Andy. There's my Andy. you don't have one, please grab one of these Take a look at the course. If you have any questions on the course, then we will uh over there. 
He's a working hard guy, number 65. You the inside courts. You have to stay on the right hand side of the blue buoy coming around the yellow buoy. Go through the. So, Phil's been walking around with sunscreen on his face, not rubbed in for a long time. He's conducting a little bit of research. How many people will tell him, and how many people will not tell him that his sunscreen is not rubbed in? Well, Angie and Andy took me to the zoo today, and we were up by the elephants, and uh, I got a little too close, and they were mating. And, um, well, I guess he spooged on me and I haven't quite cleaned it all off. <laughs> Thank so you, Phil. Practicing now. for the first race of the day. Riders, get ready. Ambulance crew ready. Rescue crew, can you hear me out there? Okay, we're getting underway at the second annual Wind and Waves. Quick look at the competition. Region 3 World Finals qualifier number one. There's the other Andy right there. In right? beautiful Hood River, Oregon. Your sponsor today, Mid Columbia Marina.
tripod so if at any time it gets a little shaky you'll know why Jet City racing tent after that first race. They're gonna let the first race slide, what up? So there's Andy and Andy talking about what happened. Everybody, like I hit twice in the start. Did ya? Oh, going into the turn, I got hit the side. Still came in behind me, right? I was in first. I was in front. You got the whole stuff. God. Oh, maybe that's why they said they let the first race fly out. First race over, okay, went moderate. Uh, third place, not too bad. Um, the course is rough out there. We're uh, being a little bit conservative. I would like him to take that Polaris Hurricane, but I didn't want to push it right off the start because your very first race in your life, you spin out, you're a dweeb. And uh, that's with a capital D. So, other than that, I'm fairly happy. Um, just playing it conservative and not spinning out, basically. That's my. That's the name of my game. So. Here they are. Second race. Get ready.
785 modified.
have limited riders. If you are not riding your limited in the mod moto, bring it to impound directly following the race. again. Hopefully it'll be best, good enough for third overall. Um, had all, almost had a Polaris. I had him in my sights. I was gunning for him. I tried to take the split on the last lap, get out of his pump wash. Just couldn't pull it together and fast enough. down a second. Um, Andy, get your butt up to tech. Okay. So right. uh, I gotta get my butt up to tech, but real quick, uh, I uh, I took a second behind that damn hurricane again. Uh, my older age and uh, tenacity, I don't think proved for his youth and agility. I was on him though, like a bear. We had a yellow flag, a guy went down. It was just way too close. Two guys down in the water, uh, through the concentration a little bit. But uh, second place, well, you know. Better luck next time, I guess. Look at that cute little puppy. So Andy's boat is being pecked. From what I understand, that means they're making sure it's legal. Because there's some questions about it. So we got Andy and we got some racer official looking under this bad boy hood. All the secrets that she She got a butt shot of the official going on right now. Yes, that is a butt shot. We've got Andrew McKay. There. And over here we've got another Andrew McKay. Hey Andy, how are you ever going to get a first place by dragging your boat? No, we don't get points. We don't win points by waving. We win points by getting on our boat and riding. This is the beautiful boat that he has spent so much time and so much money on in the past few months getting it ready for this day and I think that three third places and one second place is very good for a first day of racing.
So now it's all nice. over. So it's all max relaxed. The red light here. isn't on. It's all over. But the red light isn't on there. And in Rumpy Racing, Mid Columbia. And we are in Hood River, Oregon. All just sitting around eating. Having a lovely time. It's on. It is. They're on. having a little barbecue. Yeah, I know. What do you want? This must be Logan. If you guys have ever played billiards, you will always know that the three ball <laughs> is the red ball, and Logan looks like the three ball. Um, what do you need? What size do you need? Uh, I don't know. Okay, um, Phil, may I have the keys to your canopy so I can see if I fall over and my helmet falls off? They can use me as a buoy. Your truck keys that I can. Okay. Andy McKay. Uh, Jet, Jet City, ODI, uh, Forest Park City, Lake City, Thanks. And here it is. Bobby Jet. Third place. Yeah. And remember, ladies Maybe and gentlemen, Jimbo this was his very first race. Brian Mowry. Thank you. Thank you, Brian. Now, it's four months, second place, number 560, Andrew McKay. Yeah. Woo! I'd like to thank Jet City Racing, ODI, performance of photography, thank you all. <laughs> Race day is over. How did we do? Well, we got a uh, second place in Novice Sport Modified uh, on a limited boat and a third place in limited. Uh, the boat seemed to run fairly well. We were up to about 12.30 last night uh, working on some exhaust problems we had, but uh, all in all we got the boat together, we held our breath and uh, prayed and uh, sure shit, you know, we came away with some firewood. Good morning. We're getting ready to go over and watch the uh, experts race, but first we have to tidy up the hotel room. Yes, it does look tidy, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's as tidy as they get. Is Phil that, is is that peach have... juice residue I see here by the phone? I wonder how that got there. Phil, have you washed yes. your weenus? Yes, my weenus is washed, clean and ready to go. Stop! Phil, may we come in and see you gripping? <clears throat> yes, I am grooming. Come in, I'm grooming. I'm gelling my hair today. You know, it's rather windy. I don't want to have a bad hair day. Would not be good for me. Constitutionally, we've got our image to consider, don't we, Phil? Absolutely. Would you like? I'm sorry. Could you raise the uh, lid, please, Phil? We I'm need sorry. to check to make sure you flushed. Oh. <laughs> oh, phew. You did. <laughs> Phil flushes. <laughs> yes, I do. Well, carry on, sir. Carry so, on. So I'm just about ready. I've been waiting for you guys all morning, but you know what are friends for? Yeah, we always save it. Yeah, I'll save it. That's I, and here's me. Have my little Dalmatian shirt on today. And I washed my hair so it's all fluffy. So, so there. the cars are packed up, trucks are packed up, and we are on our way to visit Ronnie's. The Golden Arches. We'll see you there. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It is Sunday morning, and it is... Well, we can't see that very well. 10.15. It's about 10.15. This is the best western hotel in... Uh, and this is... Hood River, Oregon. Beautiful hillsides. The wind's really kicking today. We got at hey, least a 15 Phil. mile an hour. We got Phil? Where's Phil? Oh, here comes Phil. There's Phil. How you doing? Hello, what's Chris what's and Leanne and Allison. How is everyone? We're having a great time at the gorge here. Yeah, whatever, save it. There's <laughs> Ange.
They just pulled in. Oh, we're going inside. Could you please step out of the way, sir? We okay. have customers. Yeah. Paying we'll customers. Go in. Paying customers. Jet ski racers or windsurfers? Jet ski. How'd you do? Good. Third place. Great. Didn't see him there Gooders. yesterday. Not very Gooders. observant. He wasn't in my class. <laughs> Phil, do you have a penny? You want a budget here? Yeah. And you want a penny? <laughs> Come on. Here goes Ange for our Ronald McDonald house. Round and round it goes. One, two, three, four. That's a race. Oh. There's banging, there's clanging. Oh, they're fighting. They're fighting it all the way down to the bottom. Right into the orifice. <laughs> That's orifice racing. Cleavers, cleavers. Down inside oh, the orifice. Took him. I gotcha. Not a late start. I was just like you yesterday. It's a what you getting, Phil? You getting sausage, egg, and muffin. Two hash browns. That's what it takes to be big and strong. Uh, you Jet get, ski racer. You gonna get a life too? Okay. Well, that's cost extra. I'm pretty cheap. Okay. Let's see, Phil. What did you get? What's that total, sir? 312. 312. Did you got 312, Phil? No. Phil, what did you get? You don't take food stamps, do you? No. Well, now watch Andy cut his oh. pancake. Oh yeah, the cutter man. He Come on, baby, cut, cut your pancakes. Let's go. Stack them and cut them. Let's get that on here. You guys can have all the fun at my expense if you want to, but I'm going to dine on these wonderful things and enjoy myself. I'm not going to let things bother me. Really? Um, you going to cut them in quarters, eighths, or sixteenths? No, I'm just going to maul them. There's a half. You, you, won't, you half, won't even no. be able to see what they look like when I'm done. Yeah, it looks like a pile of shit. Well, pretty much. It comes out that way. Let's get ah. yeah, I'm getting a little out of proportion here. We need to get the top view of this. Andrew's pancakes. He forgot to put his syrup My on. He pancakes. usually puts his syrup on before he cuts. But no, he's so, they're ready to go. He's so emotional at the moment that he's just like, I just can't take it anymore. He got all excited. Uh, I'd like to welcome you Sunday morning. It's about 11 o'clock. They're changing the course. They're taking the split out as per. Uh, we've got about, I would say, about a 25 mile an hour wind kicking here. There he is. I capped out on the course. There's no boats out on it yet. Logan's out there practicing on uh, Todd's boat. He's going to race runabout today. Only been on the boat about 20 minutes before uh, this ride today. Uh, had a 20 ounce uh, prime rib last night. Said it was wonderful. Make a hell of a poop, I bet. Um, Bill's just showing up and uh, I'm going to go get some uh, other clothes because by golly that wind chill's bringing the temp down. This is Angela at the Hood River on Sunday. Blowing gusting 20 to 35 knots. She's having a real bad hair day. So, so is Andrew. He's not a happy camper. Oh, we're gonna get the famous crack shot. Is a bonus or a boner? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't a boner. He was a little mushroom man. <laughs> oh, there he goes. <laughs> oh, and, and that was a carpool of women. Pretty much, you saw the whole thing. Stud. Yeah, it looks like I'll be in a dry suit all day today. I'll be in a flat bag all day today. Just your waist down. No, I don't want the whole thing. Well. You know what happens in a dry suit if you uh, get in the water and the water gets in? Okay, so it's Sunday. It's very windy. This is Logan's first race. I think we just might film this race as long as we don't get blown away. 
There's my sexy Andrew helping to hold. And yes, ladies and gentlemen, he did take a second and third place yesterday. And yes, you're not mistaken, it was his first day of racing. Little pat on the back for encouragement. And encouraging Tim hand on, on the, the shoulder. Boat number 10. Two minute win. It because a lot of people fell off their boats. Uh, Logan, uh, they called the race early today. Um, and uh, it seems to be uh, you finished second in the mod, uh, what was it, limited runabout or what was it? Uh, limited freestyle, I think. Limited freestyle. And do you get an award for that? Uh, I don't know. Oh, really? Um, any kiss from the people putting on the race? I think if they combine with my last sport class finish. Yes. Um, I probably don't, but yes. It's a wonderful day. 15 minutes on my runabout, Todd's runabout, and now I'm off to the world championship. Off to the world championship. Oh, that was the world championship. Absolutely. Oh, okay, yeah. So, wait, how were the conditions today out on the water? Uh, well, it was smooth as glass. Yeah. Uh, I think that the buoys were bouncing up and down quite a bit. Any problem it with kind the kind of threw you Okay. Flying glassers were everywhere. Yes. Uh, in fact, one went right over the top of me. Really? Yes, bent my handlebars. Okay. Which is a shame because I just passed him. Oh, yeah. Really? And who was this assailant? That would be Mr. Tim Moy. Oh, Mr. Tim Mr. Tim missed the checker award. <laughs> so uh, you've just completed second place in uh, 785 runabout. What are you going to do next? I'm going to Disneyland. The day's over. If you're heading out, it must mean the day's over and everybody else should leave. All right, man. I'll be back in a bit. All right, see ya. You guys going? Yeah, pretty much. Well, Phil, huh? you're leaving us. Oh. Where are you guys going? We're going with Phil. We're all yeah. jumping in Phil's race. We're all going. You're okay. driving. Andy and I are going to go play tourist in this fine state of a state. We're he heading up the coast. We're heading up the coast to see the moon. We're going to go up to uh, probably Portland. <laughs> the, no, that's the, that would be the wrong one. <laughs> we get a close up here on where Hood the River. We're going to take 84 across. You'll take 205, which is this one going up. Mm -hmm. There. And we're going to take 205 go across the river and then head out over here. And then we have to head, oh, I guess we have to head up I-5 to Up to four. Longview, the number four. Yeah, to four and then go this way, up into here, and then we're gonna head back that way. Maybe. Oh, I'll go with you. Really? Did sure. you get yeah. that? <laughs> Don't you ever, ever touch my fork rising again! <laughs> oh. Excuse me. <laughs> yeah, we'll get it tight. Hi. 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 Hi.
Rocks Art Bar Cafe. Now, the sign says closed, the doors open, and there's music inside. Go figure. My honey just got jilted for 40 cents. <laughs> what do we got? Stop that! To put that away. They make mochas. Very technical. What kind of machine do you have? That's dead, isn't it? It's what? It's one of the best. Yeah, it's the best. This is the cook. Portland. Thanks to Phil. We're kind of lost. Oh, that's funny. There he is back there. We had to make the pass on him just so we could find out how to get out of this place. Have you ever take a road fit trip with Phil? Uh, do you think you could uh, get a right this time, neighbor? <laughs> take some advice from Andy and I. Don't let him lead. Right, folks, because what usually takes five minutes will turn out to make 35 minutes. So it's now eight o'clock on Sunday night. Oh, yeah, film the bridge. And we are going through Astoria. This is hey, a look at that cool chubby, Mom. Wait, I gotta turn Phil off for a minute. Phil, you're interrupting my camera, I'm turning you off. And we've yeah, gone through dead. quite a few little towns like this. Okay. Oh. But I'm filming it, this one now. There's the bridge. Are you serious? I can wait till we get over the bridge, man, I guess. Okay, we'll go over the bridge. And the weather is the changing a man. lot. We've got yucky clouds ahead. Got some rain. And yes, the boat is still following us. Andrew is starting to get a little bit cranky, so we won't be talking to him. What else can we find in this little town to film? How about this person? She's from Astoria. That's a bike shops in this town, man. That's a long bridge, man. <laughs> Uh, that's a Roger, Doctor. We'll now be going under the bridge to see if any toll trolls live here. <laughs> well, here we go. Under the bridge. Right lane? See ya. Get across the bridge, bro. We went under the bridge. More later on this exciting adventure of going across the Astoria Bridge. Holy cow. What's that out in the water out there? 
Is that a boat? You see it? Do you see that out in the water out there about uh, 100 yards off to the left just as after it gets shallow? Is that a, I mean flat, is that a boat? have now officially crossed wow. the Astoria Bridge. Wow. We will be taking another quick glimpse back, ladies and gentlemen, so we can see what we have accomplished oh, in the last yes. 10 minutes. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, this bridge. What are you doing, man? I didn't have time to pull over. I'll uh, pull over next stop. And here's a really good shot of the bridge that we just... Oh, here comes a bird across the water. Let's see if he can grab it. Is he going to land? Oh, yeah, look at the black. Yeah, it's a cormorant. You got him? Mm -hmm. Oh, there he goes. Bill, are you mobile yet? And here's our bridge that we just passed. Way, way down there. How was that piss, Bill? Bill, talk to me. A lot of nature things going on out here. There, now the camera's in focus. Hi, how are you? Over, Doctor. I'm going to call home. Doctor. Cute little town we got here. Well, Alrighty, Doctor. See you in a little while. Phil's going to pull over and call his wife, Allie. It's 10.05, and we're in some little town. I'm not sure where we are. We've taken the long way around, and we've decided to go home. And I am following Phil into the bathroom at Taco Bell. Oh. Hi, what Phil. Is, what is it? Wait, wait, you weren't in focus yet. Yes, can we I help you? We have to inspect the facilities before you can use them. No, Phil, don't. Phil's going to use the facility. OK, consider it. I got shy kidneys. <laughs> consider it inspected. Oh, here, you got to get a tingle in. <laughs> That's a nice smell. We're back on the road at 1012. Well, it's about, oh, 1220. Dogs is happy to see us. We're back home from our trip to Hood River, Oregon, where we did some major ass kicking uh, with a little bit of luck. Uh, Angie right now is filming. She's standing naked. And she's about ready to get into the shower. My goodness. <laughs> Anyways. Uh, thank you for joining us on our trip, and um, I hope that we can bring another one to you very soon and bring home some more firewood. Speaking of firewood, this is the stick that I brought back from Hood River for Nike, and I'm really happy to see that he likes it. He likes his stick, huh? It's for you. Say stick. goodbye to the camera, dogs. Say goodbye to the camera, dogs. It's okay. Okay, dogs. Mm -hmm.